Got new toys for this week, Angela. <laughs> Beats working. <laughs> it's so old or. How long did I let this play? That's probably good. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, we're back. Uh, we got a new. We got. We we've been gone for a while. We have. We got a new setup. We've yes. been working really hard on the studio and uh, spending a ton of money and getting it really classed up here because we got some great uh, plans for all of 2022 with the podcasting and uh, with our team calls and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, man, it's exciting. You know, it's amazing to think back two years ago, almost to the day, Angela, is it, uh, it's uh, January, about two years ago, almost to the day, where we had, um, you know, COVID. COVID was just breaking yeah. out in the United States. And to see what's happened in our, in our industry is absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one blessing after another, um, we were deemed essential, which was, which, you know, we were really worried about, can, you know, are we going to be able to do business, right? We can't, you know, and, and even though we were getting pushed back in the homes uh, early on, we were trying to figure out how to, you know, how to put a lawn chair in the, in the driveway, in the, in the front yard, sitting on a porch. I had agents actually that were sitting in the driveway on the phone, to, you know, making the sale and then slide the paperwork under the door and they, they'd sneak out, sign real quick, run back in the house. <laughs> so We've had, we had agents that um, in the Pacific Northwest that would sit in their car in the driveway. Yeah. Do the presentation, go put the paperwork on the porch, go back to their car. The client would sign it. And they go back to the porch, get the paperwork. But you know what? I guess what I would probably say is just like the country as a whole, no matter what your political opinion or affiliation is or how you feel about COVID or, or vaccines or mandates, how, no matter how you feel about any of that stuff, I think that the one thing that we can all agree on is that as an American people, we really are pretty resilient. Yeah. And the people that uh, as a whole... Of course, you have people that are not resilient, that kind of cuddle up in a ball and, you know, they're done. But I think that as a whole, we are a pretty resilient nation, and that's why we are the greatest nation on earth. But uh, uh, it, I think this industry is really a snapshot of that, too. I think that we are a pretty resilient industry, that we uh, might get knocked in the knees a little bit, but then we kind of figure out, okay, well, that didn't work, and let's go over here and try this now. So I think that we are pretty kind of move with your cheese industry. Yeah, no question about it. So we, you know, again, the the, the rise of the of the uh, of the mortgage market, home values going through the roof. At the same time, COVID kind of set in the supply chain issues, all that nonsense. As I said last night on the on the uh, on the call, COVID, uh, you know, just. And we all know COVID has been a tragedy for, mo for for a lot of people. We've lost personal friends due to COVID. No one's no one's discounting the tragedy that, that you know rained down on on the United States and really across the world. But what it did was it made life insurance sexy. You know, I've been doing this for 40 years and, and you can, and like, let me just, oh, please. Um, you know, it, it just wasn't a, uh, I was trying to look for my new button. <laughs> you know, it just, you, no one wanted to talk about it. You were the person they wouldn't invite over to the house for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any kind of celebration because you always want to talk about life insurance and, and no one wants to talk about life insurance. My own mom wouldn't, didn't want to talk about life insurance, but now everybody is open to having a conversation about life insurance because most everybody knows somebody now that's been affected with COVID or even passed away. So, so we got that. And about, again, this time last year, we started saying, okay, we got to figure this thing out. We got to figure out how to do business because, you know, many of us rely on this industry for our livelihood. And, you know, you couldn't go get a job because there were no jobs. People, you know, people that were working for other companies were getting laid off and fired and terminated and whatever. So we had to figure this virtual thing out. And um, uh, we figured it out. After 18 months, hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos and phone calls and, you know, working with a team of people that were trying to figure it out early on. Um, now, flash forward to today, <clears throat> you know, we have our uh, industry only uh, virtual tra uh, training platform, our daily uh, calls, coaching calls, which we started in November and I, 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 you know, I've been on my YouTube channel quite a bit about that stuff. We had, you know, a couple hundred people on there. Now over 500 people a day, Angela, that are coming on that call every day and getting specific uh, drill down instruction and coaching on where they can improve the process 
and we're getting numbers pouring in for, to us um, as a result of them reporting their daily numbers, their daily activities, which you can see you know, running across the bottom of the screen there right, uh, right now. Um, that are, you know, those are just some of the examples. We now have r raw data. Um, you know, uh, law of large numbers data where people are reporting in their numbers to really tell you, can, you've heard me say before, this is a metrics based business. If you understand the numbers and you, and you can figure out what your closing ratio is, it's very easily or very easy to determine what your lead spend should be based on how much money you want to earn. So the more people you have reporting numbers, they bet the, the more refined we can get these numbers. And it's really a no brainer. And we are seeing some incredible, look at these things on the, on the board here. I mean, People, some, look, we were having, we're seeing agents have twenty thousand dollar days. That used to be a month. Yeah, I mean it. It um, it has really transformed. Again, kind of going back to that resiliency, it really has transformed. You know how we do this business, how this business is viewed, and um, I think that it has really. You know, we keep saying, can you imagine? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? No, it is hard to believe. But it. I think that the one thing that these last two years have really taught us in general is, you know, there's always change coming. And some years, you know, sometimes you end up in a decade where it's very minor change. It's just kind of minutia change. You know, people would talk about, you know, uh, same day, different administration, right? Because it's, it's basically, it was basically the same thing rolling from one year, at one every four years, whatever, to another. And I think that the last two years have taught us that sometimes big, big, big change comes and there is always a way to thrive in it. And, uh, you know, when COVID started, could you have ever imagined that a year after COVID or within 18 months of COVID that the real estate market would be, I mean, the, the area that we live in, the real estate market is on fire. And the news reports are that there is no indication that it's going to slow. I mean, I don't know. I just, we've never seen anything like it. And I think that now is the time to really kind of dig your feet in and take advantage of it and build your business, build your wealth, build your empire, take care of your family. Yeah. And that's and that's a good point you bring up about leads is because, you know, again, the challenge with face to face was always. And again, we're not saying you should do 100 percent virtual, although these numbers are streaming across the the, the, uh, the video right now they are 100 percent virtual. And I will tell you that last week, I think about 90 percent of our business came from 100 percent virtual uh, appointment. So that the, the we're going through a paradigm shift this industry right now. And and, and, and you know, it, it is moving to where virtual is the norm and that's the great thing about you if you're looking to make an in you know an income on the road in your rv you can see our little artwork down there that's our dream our dream is to be able to go out there and coach work with our agents all across the country and wherever that rv parks whether it be by the ocean or in the mountains you know we we, we, and we can grab some leads and and jump on the phone all we need is an internet a cell phone internet and, and uh, internet uh, coverage and we can earn you know ten thousand fifteen thousand twenty thousand bucks a week very very poor part time working to it that most of these guys you see is again going back to this this uh the, these uh numbers scrolling across the screen are working about a four day week they work, they, they, in general our virtual team works monday through thursday and they're not working today they're working they're taking friday saturday and sunday off and they're back at it again monday if you're traveling on the road and enjoying life again imagine you know so a little thing a lot of things change with virtual uh in, in that you can work anywhere you want so leads are no longer geographical Right before you had to have you had to get leads in your area within about an hour and a half to two hour driving range. And if there weren't a good real estate market like Andrew's bringing up, you might be out of luck. I mean, if you're sitting in Montana and homes aren't selling because it's you know thirty below zero, you you ain't getting no leads, right? And this is a leads based opportunity, meaning we're not cold calling, we're not door knocking, we're calling people that have asked us to call which is a very big uh, uh, differential. So again, you can, no matter what you're doing, where you're living, what you're, you're, again, going down a road, living in a tough shed, on the beach, in a motel, grab some leads, make yourself five, 10,000 bucks, and then go back to living life. 
I mean, you know, you, I, you were talking about something the other day, and I don't know if you remember this or not, Angela, but it was talking about, you know, quality of life and lifestyle. And I, there, the, right now, this industry, because it's going, when going virtual, you can, you can, you, you can, there's no, there's been never, never been a better opportunity to be able to make the kind of money you need and then going back and living, living the life that you dreamed of living. Well, whatever it is, golfing, skiing, tennis, whatever it is, uh, you really have an opportunity now to really have a work life balance because you can make your money in a couple of days or a couple couple of evenings and get back to really enjoying life. And so life moves very quickly. And before long, you're staring at 62 years old and you wonder where all that time went. It went working. It was work. It was 40, 40 hours a week at a, at a nine to five. That's where it went. Yeah. And it, and you, you know, it's very, um, well, two things, uh, excuse me. We have lost, a lot of agents over the last, you know, I don't know, 20 years uh, on because of the fact that they couldn't, they didn't have a way to be able to run appointments on a consistent basis because they happen to live in a part of the country. I mean, we had agents that lived in the Midwest and, you know, their counties were so spread out. And so in order to you know, effectively run appointments, really their next step option was to get on a plane and go somewhere. And um, when we made the move that we did this last year, I think that the one reason, the one apprehension that I had had as we had talked about it for years was, okay, but how are we going to work? Like we don't know anybody. And knowing somebody is not really the point, but we knew the area that we lived in. You know, people love uh, familiarity, right? Everybody does. People love the familiarity of their family, their home, their neighborhood, their neighbors, their grocery store. They, they, that's where people we're communal people, right? That's where we feel comfort. And for years, my biggest apprehension was, okay, but we don't know anything about this area. We don't know about the counties. We don't know where the, we don't know where the sweet spots are. We don't know where we will have the best success. And I thought, my God, I could just imagine us having to drive. You know, what happens if we get there and we have to drive eight hours to go run appointments? Um, you know, that what do we do? And COVID, again, thanks, COVID. Uh, COVID really changed all that. It gave us the ability to have a nationwide business and to be able to affordably, I don't know if that's a word, um, economically uh, be able to try a new area and determine, okay, that area is not for me. That's not an area that I seem to gel well with. Uh, let's try over here. And you can do it and not have to leave the comfort of your home. I happened to run today, Saturday morning. I had some people that couldn't meet with me yesterday. So I booked three appointments this morning and the first two, one person ended up in the hospital and another person just plain forgot about our appointment. And uh, in between that, I got up and made myself a fresh cup of coffee. I went and, you know, did some stuff around the house, came back for my second one and then sat down and, you know, I, the great, and I kept thinking to myself, oh, if I was still out running face to face, man, I'd be two hours from home. Um, I'd be all by myself in an area that I don't know. So what would I be doing? I'd be sitting in my car, getting a cup of coffee to stare at the windshield in an area that I don't know and might not be comfortable in to wait for my next appointment that may not, you know, I lose the whole day here. Yeah. I lost a couple minutes. Yeah. Can't beat it. Yeah. You know, uh, look again, it's, 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 it's a phenomenal opportunity to get asked all the time, you know, about, about, about doing this and what it takes to be, be successful in this business. And, 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 you know, look, it's never been better right now. In 40 years, I've been around this industry. It's never been better right than it is right now because, again, COVID put life insurance on the map. So you have a lot of people. I mean, we're generating, you know, thousands of leads a day, a day right now uh, uh, of people that want to have a conversation about life insurance. I mean, they're all buying. It means they want to have a conversation about life insurance. And our job is to match their 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 desire with the right product based on their medical conditions and 
um, uh, their age and uh, and budget. And that's what we do all day long. And our system is a little bit different here because we, you know, in the past, you had to know, you had to become an underwriter. You had to, you had to think about all these things. You had, to, you had to learn all these prescription drugs and medications to be able to match the products uh, with, the, with the client's medical conditions so you don't get the clients. You want to get them approved. You want them to get the coverage. You want to get paid. Well, we take that out of the equation. Because Angela and her team uh, are doing that for our agents all day long. All they have to do is focus on the three P's, which is uh, phone skills, you know, getting some leads, booking appointments, and, uh, you know, and showing up for a presentation and being persistent in their business, right? Doing the activity necessary uh, to run their business 24-7, whether that be two days a week, three days a week, whatever it is, it's your choice. But, um, you know, anybody that, that uh, has a desire to grab this opportunity and understand that we what we have in our hands right now and take action, this really can be a, a life changing paradigm shift in their financial lives and the ability to build generational wealth because you also get, you get paid very well in the commissions. You get paid very, very well in residual incomes on some products. There's just a lot of opportunity here to, to, uh, to be able to build an income that comes in every single day, especially if you're, if you're, you know, getting up in the age where you want to face retirement, you may, you don't want to, you don't want to stop doing anything, but you may need to supplement your entire your retirement with, uh, with an income. Now, look, let's face it. Re- retirement is nothing more than a number. It's not an age. You can retire at 30 if you have enough money coming in every month automatically and residually so you don't have to worry about money coming in. That's what we're talking about here when we're talking about uh, being able to to uh, to build a residual base income. So, um, you know, we had a record week this week, 1,611 applications uh, for the week, uh, and that's largely in part by um, – by uh, uh, the residual, the virtual part, and we've had by far the most people plugging into our uh, 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 daily coaching calls. This is the year of explosive growth, and you've heard me say before: a team time is more important than team talent, and that's the key. That's the key. Is is make a decision. It's very simple to get a license. As long as you can pass a background check. Uh, you can, you know, there's a pre-licensing course to go through, get you ready to take the state exam. Most of these state, these states now, Angela, are doing the state exam proxy. So you don't have to show up to the license uh, in person. You can do that from your, from your home computer. We are living in a virtual world and, you know, the, the younger generation is coming up. That's how they want to do business anyway. So it's really a perfect storm. It is. And, you know, um, I thought of something that I saw the other day. Actually, I heard it. It was a little motivational piece, and I it really resonated with me. And um, it's old Chinese saying, and it says, um, you know, what they asked Buddha, what is the problem with people? And he said, the pro- the trouble is, your trouble is, you think you have more time. You think you have plenty of time. And, you know, the... It actually, it was what 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 is the biggest mistake that we make in life? And the, his response was, the biggest mistake is you think you have time. You know, uh, time is free, but it's priceless, and you can own it, uh, but you can't use it. You can't keep it, uh, but you can spend it. And once it's lost, you never get it back. And I think that we, there, the one biggest thing that I see, the one biggest dilemma that I see to people having any any percentage of success, whether it's a little bit of success and writing a few apps to supplement their income, or they want to have big success and leave a job or have a second career or, um, you know, like us build a foundation for our family for generations is they wait, they wait and they wait and they wait and they wait and they they think and they wonder and they ask and they question. And then it's, you know, then the, then the opportunity changes. And now they got to start all over again, you know, and that's what, in my opinion, that is the biggest thing that I see with people is you've just got to jump in, just have to jump in and do it. Yeah. I mean, look, some people see this industry as a sales job. Others see it as a side hustle to make a few extra bucks. You know, others see it like I see it, like Angela sees it. We see it as an opportunity to be able to make very high commissions. You know, we're calling people that have asked us to call. So we're not telemarketers. We don't, we're not, we're not, we're not begging people, you know, to, 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 uh, to get on a phone call with. They've asked for the information. So we're, all we're doing is following up. And I, I look at it more like customer service. Uh, in that respect, and go over their, their options, you know, with them, and you know, it, 
gives us the ability to do what we have been talking about doing for, I mean, 25 years now, and that is getting our RV and travel around and see the country and, and meet with our agents and do some training and, and just really, you know, wherever we, wherever we plant our fanny, Angela, that's my, that's my new uh, tagline. Wherever you plant your fanny, you can make your money. <laughs> hey, that's good. Wherever you plant your fanny, you can make your money. That's cool. And that's like what about. If you have that desire to do that, this is the occupation to do it. We have, you, you can get a license in a resident state, just like you have to have your mail if you're if you're a full time RVer, you can get your you can you can you can establish wherever your resident state is, and then you can get non resident licenses in any state you want that you want to work, right? But again, if you're if you're traveling across the country, you can still call back in, 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 into your home state. If if you only have a license in one or two states, you can work those states wherever you're at. You just buy you just get you just get your leads in those states. You know, so you can expand where you want to work. So, you know, again, before, if we were going to travel around an RV, Angela, we would have to, uh, and I never actually thought about this, we would have to have a non-resident license in that state that we were in and run leads in that state because we were doing face-to-face. Now, if I'm sitting in Oregon, we can still call back to Florida and run, and work our leads virtually. That's a big deal. Mm-hmm. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. That was one of the things that you and I had talked about was, okay, well, if we do this, if we, if we get an RV and we decide we want to travel, so then what's happening to the, what's happening to the leads that that are being generated for me in our hometown? Are those going to waste? Am I not, I'm not going to be there. What do I do? Uh, You know, what, what, how do I, now every single state, even if we're passing through, I should have a license there. I mean, you know, again, you can kind of overthink that to death uh, because there's a lot of stuff to, to think about. But again, it puts you in a position of being really in control of earning your income wherever you like. Yeah. How, how fits, you know, whatever best way fits you. Yeah. So look, we have it all right here. So if you're if you're looking to do something like this, I mean, uh, we have it all. We have we have our agency level orientation and training, which is a twelve step pro- program. It teaches you everything you need to know about getting into the, getting into the pool and you know and start kicking, as Angela say. In other words, we're going to help you with all those areas that you need to have, not just one time, and it's not just on video. We're not we're we're face we're face to face or virtually like this or on the phone with you, uh, every, you know, on those on those areas, phone product selection, presentation, you know, and those things. So you're going to learn that. And, you know, it's all online. But when you start running appointments, now we're going to talk to you on every single case. I call it ground-level support. Then we have an eight-step virtual program that's going to teach you how to set up your background, how to do your lighting, how to do your email, everything you need to know to run business virtually and be professional, right? Uh, And so that's there. And then we have these daily coaching calls. We have training, coaching every single day, Monday through Saturday. You won't find that anywhere else in the industry. Look, the agent needs three things, good training, good support, and good leads, period. And we have that on steroids here, right? It's your business. You can run it as you see fit. There are no production requirements. There are no quotas. There are no office hours. You work from home or anywhere 100% virtual, and you have the opportunity to create unlimited income that you own that cannot be taken away from you for medical condition situation or medical decisions, I guess I should say, or all that stuff, right? You own this, and guess what? It's the perfect. It's the perfect thing. Perfect business for, you know, because this COVID thing doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. They're gonna. It's just. It's just kind of lingering, right? So, uh, regardless of what they do with the, with, with the retail store, I mean, I'd hate to own rest, Angela. I'd hate to own a restaurant right now, or a beauty salon, or or something, you know, a service oriented business where you had to have people coming into your into your your business that the state or federal government can shut you down at any moment and wipe you out financially. You know, I was think I always think about when I think about friends of ours that own restaurants or uh, nail type salons or businesses where they have very close, you know, you have very close physical contact with other people and what this pandemic has done to them. And it I, the image that always comes into my mind is: Have you ever seen a little child, you know, five, six, seven years old, dog, uh, you know, child with a dog and on a leash? And they want the dog to do something or they're playing with the dog and they start yanking on the leash, you know, back and forth. And the dog is just kind of getting, you know, tossed around. That's always the image I think of, of what has happened to some of these people in those industries. They've just gotten yanked around back and forth 
And, you know, at some point, and you've seen a lot of people that have done it, we've had a lot of people that have come to us and said, okay, I'm, I'm over this. I'm done. You know, my business, they've destroyed my business. They've destroyed my income, which in turn has destroyed the income of everybody that worked for me and the people that I cared about. And, you know, I mean, we have gone to restaurants in the area that we live in. Most restaurants have a sign up that say, you know, we apologize, but we don't have any workers or people aren't showing up or now people are sick and you know, it's just awful. Yeah. And it's, and it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, it isn't important. You don't have to live that way, I guess is my point. Yep. I agree. So look, we're, we're here to help anybody that wants to build the kind of income that we, that we, that we've been able to create and, and help you achieve whatever your goals are. And again, if you're sitting there looking for a way to make, you know, maybe it's a side hustle, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, you know, it's, maybe it's a, to just replace a six figure job that you lost due to a, due to a medical decision, whatever it is, uh, certainly reach out to us. You can call us, email, text us. My, my information will be in the description. Uh, it's very simple. 530-320-8742 is my cell number. It's my direct cell number. No game here we're all over youtube and and uh, we're not going anywhere and like i said we've been, been doing this for a long long time but you have the opportunity uh to be in a business where you have a product that everybody wants everybody everybody needs everybody should want right most have a, people have none some have some but all of them ha don't have enough right and it's, it's a trillion dollar market that you can help distribute their products and be involved in for nothing more than the cost of an insurance license. We're talking about a couple hundred bucks, right? Um, it, 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 it's been great to great for us for, for many, many years. It's just getting better and better and better. And um, I, I'd welcome you to check it out if you're not already involved. But if you're somewhere, if you are already in the industry and and you're not having success or they they're they talking virtual on zoom or whatever uh, and you're not seeing the success then i can just tell you right now when they when they when they talk about virtual and they include the word zoom they don't have a clue what they're talking about they may have some people they want to profile they're having successes but they don't have 500 people having successes because zoom doesn't work we deal with, with the predominantly uh senior market and Zoom is, is difficult. It's one of the things we, we learned early on. But again, that virtual step-by-step -step training system that we're talking about, the, uh, the, the daily coaching calls seven days a week, um, the highest comp in the industry with bonuses, with um, uh, uh, manager bonuses and, and, and private sharing, uh, direct mail leads, highest quality lead in the industry we own our own lead program we're not giving you a list of you know piece of paper with third-party vendors on and tell you good luck go find your own leads uh you know you we found we we weeded them out for you but here you are you gotta go figure it out and, and, and negotiate your price um bonuses that are not subjective right if you do the work you you get the bonus period right not not subjective uh at all uh and the freedom to build your business the way uh and and the speed and how you choose to do it there's nothing better out there than, than what we have right now, Angela. And, and certainly we're willing to have that conversation and see if you're a fit to work for us. Yep. No doubt. That's a wrap. That's all I got. Yeah. Hey, look, I hope, do me a favor. If you if you like what you the video, you, you want us to do more of this or you have questions, certainly you can reach out to us direct. But if you want to help promote what we're doing and get out and reach more people, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, mash the bell so you get instant notifications. We do go live. Give us a give us a like and make it and give us a, and send us a comment and say, hey, you know, please talk about this stuff or whatever. Uh, one of the things that we're known for, especially on my on this YouTube channel, and I appreciate all of you so much. So grateful to have you here. Is I get the call and say, Steve, you know what I love about you? Just tell like it is, right? You just you just tell like it is. No fluff, no BS. You just tell like it is, and and that's what we do here, right? We're not we're not going anywhere. We're not uh, we're not recruiters. We're coaches. There's a big difference. We're not here to sign you up. We're here to partner with you, right, and teach you what we've learned over the last forty years that will take you the next 40 years in this business, right? And, and part of you on every single sale, we have as much in, skin in the game as you do, both in the leads and in, and in your success. That's a partnership. It is not a sign-up deal. This is not a MLM network marketing type of thing, right? So uh, we're here, uh, Angela and her team is fantastic. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep working hard, keep, keep putting this material out, uh, whether we're sitting in our offices, which we are today, or we're riding in that bus you see on the, on the, on the thumbnail. 
<laughs> right, Ange? Yep. All right. Yes. See you later. Appreciate you guys. Bye.